guys. We're at the doll market. Let's go. Coming back. Oh my god. American girl shoes. Oh my god. Go off. This outfit goes to a um, crash of fever or something. Brat shoes. Brat shoes. Oh my god. What the? What if that's the, the person's cart that's right there and that was awkward? Well, it won't stop coming it to me. It kept hitting me. Yeah, I don't want Am I magnetic? I'll fix that problem later. <laughs> Are these um, American Girl or not? I can't tell. It's okay. Anyway. Ooh. Dang it. I'm pretty sure I already have her nude. We'll just hold on to them for now. Like three Yu-Gi-Oh cards? No. They're not Yu-Gi-Oh, what are they? That's embarrassing for me. I have a doll clothes, but I think it might be like knockoff American Girl, which I'm not interested in. This is premature children's clothing, so that's kind of awkward. Maybe next time I give a premature birth. Are you kidding me? What is going on today? <laughs> Everything is falling. I know. It wasn't me this time. Say her adorable again. It's like some sort of, sort of anomaly right here. This specific situation? That the, uh... This is why I call this one the good savers. It's holy sometimes. Well, everything falling, the cart rolling towards me. Yeah. You need a cart? Yeah, kind of. All right, so I'm doing voiceover on this part. I stopped talking because this lady like really got all up in my space and started like grabbing stuff. So I was like, ah, so I had to rush. I don't really know what to do in this situation. Cause like on one hand, I want to step back and let her have her space. But like, what if she takes something I really want? I'm sure that's why she started encroaching on my space because before she wasn't, but I think she saw that I was grabbing a lot of stuff. And then she even like, I mentioned to Brett, like, that's so weird that I haven't found any Bratz dolls because I found all these shoes. And the lady was like, what? I usually find Bratz dolls with no shoes. And I was like, oh, yeah, I just found three bags full of shoes. And she just stopped talking after that. So I think she was a little mad about it. I don't know. Um, if she's a doll collector, that's really cool. But I wasn't sure. And I didn't know how to be like, hey, do you collect dolls, too? Because what if she's like, no, I buy them for my children. And then it's like awkward because I'm like, in a lot of people's eyes, you know, I'm like taking them from the kids. And it's like, no, there's like a 100 dolls on the shelves right now. And I took like five of them, you know, it is how it is, whatever, that's a super old skipper down there, I think it was a skipper, so that was kind of neat, I left her though, because again, I don't, I understand, um, that people are like, oh my gosh, I would have gotten that doll, but I collect what I like, I'm not just gonna collect something just to have it, you know, so I leave them there if they're not one that I particularly want, or sometimes I'll pick them up if I know my friend wants them or something, or if it's an extra and a lot, obviously I can't really do anything about that, but um, so here's the dolls I picked up, and then I'm going, yeah, I put them on the ground so I can sort through the pile and figure out which ones that I want, and of course I put all the dolls back on the hooks that fell off. <laughs> all right, here we are at Kid to Kid, and we're gonna strut through the store, baby, I love this shirt, so we're gonna get some mileage out of it. So this store, it gets new stuff pretty often, but it gets like one or two new things every now and then, so 
Um, I'm going to cut this clip a little bit early for the sake of not just seeing a hundred of the dolls I've, I've already combed through in every single one of these videos before, but it's always worth checking out. Like, I've gotten a lot of really cool dolls here, and it's very exciting for me. There's Bloom. That was the first thing that I saw in my eyes, but <laughs> Tunnel Vision, I was like, Winx Club doll? And you can see D actually right there on the right. But you see, if you've seen my other Thrift Hunt videos, which you can watch on my channel, of course, if, if you're new, I have a ton of these videos on my channel. Um... These dolls have been here for a long time, and they kind of... I see the clothes that go to dolls that I saw nude before, and then sometimes dolls will disappear into the back and then come back with a new outfit on, like the nude ones. So I think the store is keeping some of the clothes in the back room or something. I was really tempted by this Tiana because of the crown, but I don't think that's a Disney Store crown. So I left her, and she's a JCPenney Tiana with the uh, unarticulated elbows, and I don't have any extra Tiana outfits right now because all of her outfits are really rare! But I really would love to have every single Tiana outfit. That's my kind of one of my main Disney goals because I love Tiana so much. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut this off here because, you know, I've seen this been a hundred times and so have you. Love that Barbie. Do y'all know who she is, by the way? She's a fairy doll, but which one? Is she just like a Dreamtopia one? Her face was so pretty. I was really tempted. But since she's a fairy with no wings, that's clearly not her outfit and she has no shoes. I would have to start at square one. So anyway, goodbye. I'll see you in the next clip. It's me, Excanadensis, and first of all, some housekeeping. Today is my eight year anniversary with Brett. Can you believe that? Um, we kind of live in a small town, plus it's the current world situation, so we just kind of did our usual Saturday, but we also like went to the beach. It was nice and fun. Um, and I went thrifting with him, of course, because um, there happened to be a doll show. That sounded interesting. Uh, the doll show was pretty bust, but I did find one doll that pertained to me. I did have some clips of it. There were some American Girl dolls and stuff, um, but none of them were ones that I needed. But I found this doll, and the seller had her for $5, but we didn't really have cash, so we had $3, and she was like, I'll give her to you for $3. I just want to get rid of her, so that was a score. So I have uh, the fashion show evening wear, Chloe. I believe I already have a fashion show Yasmin doll. It's clearly not from this set, but pretty cool to have another one. I really like how, like, mean she looks. She looks a lot older, and the dress does look like an older um, woman's dress, so I think that's really nice. And then this came with it. I didn't really want to collect the Little Bratz merch, to be honest, uh, just because I think the... I just don't like the art style as much, but it's still nice. I can keep, like, accessories in here or something. Oh, it doesn't open as much as I thought it did, but it's brand new. It even has the tag, so it's kind of cool. Can keep stuff in here. I have a lot of, I have quite a bit of little brat stuff I could keep in there. It's not necessarily a bad thing and it was free with this so happy about it. So I will be doing an opening video for her eventually. All right and then um, I went to one savers and absolutely made out like a bandit and then I got nothing at the other savers and then the kid to kid I got two things and the kid to kid things are right here so I'm gonna pull those out. So first is this city style bloom doll. She's missing her original wings, her necklace, maybe she had a bracelet I can't 100% recall, and her sunglasses, but it's a wink doll. So. Yay. <laughs> um, and she has Flora's Speedix wing on as well. Um, I really needed more wink bodies for my uh, prototypes, so she will be useful. Thank you, Bloom. Anyway. <laughs> I almost just put her over there. Anyway, um, and then here, I don't know how this kid to kid store works exactly because a doll will go missing and I'll be like, dang, I want that one. And then she just appears again. This is the Bollywood D doll. I got her complete outfit except the shoes the other day at kid to kid, but this doll was gone and now this doll has returned. She has like a really gross forehead, so we'll be fixing that. But other than that, she seems fine. I have no idea if this is like a homemade dress or not. Oh no, it has a tag. It's a Lottie Daw dress. Who does this go to? Maybe it's like missing a piece, so I'm not sure. Weird. Okay, anyway. Bollywood D. Then, um, I got at Savers, the second Savers, I didn't really get anything except this amazing Komodo Dragon plushie. I did not verify if it was meant to be a Komodo Dragon or like a Nile monitor. This, it, it's a it's a monitor lizard, whatever it is, but I love it, but it's absolutely enormous and I really need to wash it, so it's in the washer. 
<sighs> All right, and then I got a ridiculous amount of stuff at the Second Savers, so here we go. First, in no particular order, we have this Rosabella doll. I do already have Rosabella, and this is the signature Rosabella doll, or whatever they were called in the first chapter. Uh, the reason I did end up getting her was because she is wearing Epic Winter Apples dress, which I don't have. Uh, and I think she's wearing one of... I feel like I don't know whose shoes these are, but they're probably Apple's Epic Winter shoes. If they're Rosabella's, I just don't recognize them. I thought Rosabella had, like, brown boots on. Anyway, and then this shoe, which I do already have, but I don't remember who it goes to. Um, very nice. Next. <laughs> I've been joking with Brett about this. Um, first of all, this is, um, is this Luau, the My Little Pony? G3, um, because Honolulu's different, because that's the baby. I think this is Luau. I can't 100% recall. I'll put the name on the screen if it's not. Um, and then this, this is Pinkie Pie's mom. I keep getting moms. I love moms. So this is the Pinkie Pie's mom from G3.5. I don't really collect G3.5 as much. Like, I'm not, I don't like when it's all the same pony over and over again, so I'm going to have one of each, and then I'm done with the collection. Um, but I, ha I have to have the moms, right? So this is Pinkie Pie's mother. In G3.5, obviously, they gave her a different one in G4. Love it. Anyway, next we have this bag of doll clothes. I just can't leave doll clothes behind. Uh, they had a lot of, like, American Girl size clothes, but I think it was all homemade, which isn't a bad thing, but I was already buying so much stuff anyway. So if y'all recognize any of these pieces, let me know. I'm just gonna skip on past them. This is Wretch. Then this skirt, maybe? I can't really decide what this is. It's another top in that like blouse style. This one has a tag. Oh, these are kind of horrible. Here's a little um something normal finally. <laughs> Here's a leotard, so let me know if you recognize that because it's probably from the Barbie doll. Um and then little jumpsuit. These I'm thinking are homemade and that's sweet, but like not for me. You know? Anyway, here is a little dress. Probably Barbie on that one. Oh, this goes to... Ugh. I don't want to say it because I don't want to be wrong, but I totally recognize who this goes to. Um, and then... More. So this is definitely some, like, 80s Barbie stuff in here. The stuff that's Barbie. These are huge overalls for, like, a teddy bear or something. Little skirt. And, yeah. So it's half... Oh my god, what is this? And half some kind of Barbie. So there's also a very weird smell coming out that bag, so that's going in the washer. Anyway, um, that bag was bust for me. I don't really collect anything that any of those clothes would go to, but it's okay. I can find an owner for them, I'm sure. All right, and then here, I'm surprised by this because I've never found an LOL OMG before. I know they're relatively easy to find thrifting, but I've never found them. Uh, and this is Chillax. And she's kind of, she just came out last year too, uh, which is really exciting because I've been wanting to try customizing LOLs, so now I have that open for me. And she's wearing this really cute Barbie um, jersey dress, and she's wearing her own shoes, which is great because OMGs have a very specific shoe, shoe size, so. It's size 6.5, it says it on the box, and she had both hands. Her hair definitely needs some help, but a good find. Definitely a good find. And then... Ooh, okay. Here is uh, Epic Winter Apple, who I really needed. And she is wearing some Operetta shoes. And, oh, she's so pretty. I really love the um, Ever After High updated face, in my opinion. This was like a needed reboot. I do like the old Ever After High faces, but they took a lot of getting used to. Um, she doesn't have earring holes even, but if this is her shoe, she's missing one. If not, she's missing both. But, sorry, Rosabella. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited about her. She's so cute. Her hair's super soft. She's definitely missing a lot of stuff, but I've built almost my entire Epic Winter collection at the thrift store. It's fantastic. At this exact thrift store, too. And then this doll is one of the, uh, what were they called? It's not We Three Friends. This is like Forever Best Friends or something. Um, it's an MGA line, and I have one already, and I found another one. So yay. So I found this one at Savers, and I found my last one at kid to kid and they're so stinking cute. I need to get, find them some clothes eventually, because they're kind of a 
larger doll. They, they have like different proportions. I don't think they'd fit in Barbie stuff. It's possible, maybe in certain ones. They're very interesting. Like they have this rotating wrist articulation, but they don't have elbow and they don't have knee. It's a very interesting doll. I think they're really cute though. I need to go ahead and watch some reviews of them if, they, if those even exist, because I'd love to see like what they look like in their original form and like in their original context. Well, hi mother. Lego's here. Hi, pretty girl. Pretty daughter girl. I can't pick her up because she's like under my chair, but I would. I swear I would. All right, and then this doll's very interesting. So this is a Barbie, probably Teresa if I had to guess. And I think this is her outfit. I went ahead and got her because I think she's really beautiful. I'm not sure who she actually is if this isn't her, but the reason I did end up, or maybe she's not Teresa. I don't know. Um, the reason I did end up getting her is because she has these earrings that seem to imply that this is her dress. But she's an early 2000s Barbie, which I love. Um, and I just thought she was very pretty. She has really nice Kanekalon hair. I think it's Kanekalon. Definitely, yeah, it's it's Kanekalon. Um, and she has a ring hole. And she's missing shoes, but I really like this little dress. And Barbie shoes, they're kind of hard to find, but once you've found them, you have a million of them, and I have a million of I have a million Barbie shoes already. I really need some more fairy shoes, though. My poor fairy topia dolls. Anyways. Next up is another bag of doll clothes. I'm kind of terrified of this now because it looks about the same as the last one, but it's okay. Let's see what we got. Um, this is reasonably cute. These must go to like bears or something. Like maybe they were homemade for bears. I really don't know. Um, these are actually like adorable little overalls. They look very homemade though. I feel like I know the exact toy this goes to, but I'm not gonna say it. Like, I'm pretty sure I recognize these. I just don't like y'all being like, actually in the comments. And I'm like, I said I didn't know. <laughs> I already said I didn't know. Like, you're not blowing, blowing anyone's mind here. Okay, and then this is a really, really cute little dress. Um, and then, it's very interesting. What do these go to? I'd love to know. Um, This little, Little tutu. This is really interesting. Almost looks like a 50s thing. Um, it's not from the 50s, I mean. I mean, it's like a 50s inspired thing from later on. Little jumpsuit. Anyway, that's that bag. It's fine. Um, the reason I bought those bags, to be honest with you, is because of the next thing, which is nuts. I destroyed this bag on accident. I got these three big bags of brat doll. <laughs> brat doll. I got myself saying that because I said it as a joke the other day. I got myself these three big bags of Bratz doll shoes. Um, there were no Bratz dolls, just a lot of bags of shoes. It's a little strange, but oh my gosh. All right, so let's get into the shoes. I'm so excited. So um, a lot of these are shoes for other types of dolls or for my scenes. So this is like a really cool find. Uh, so let's get started. Ew, boy shoe. I'm not gonna say what any of them go to, because again, y'all get real mean with the correcting. It's like, I think this might go to this, and then we'll be like, actually, no, you're wrong, how dare you? And I'm like, I'm sorry. Um, here's some um, Ice Champion shoes. This shoe. Just realized the commentary is gonna be really dry. Um, <laughs> if I don't start talking. Oh, I know this shoe as well. I'm really, I don't want to say it though, unless I have 1000% confidence. Um, these are probably from the Wild Wild West dolls. Yeah, but these are great because a lot of my brass dolls are missing their shoes and now I have a lot more to like experiment with. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, pff, wow, okay. So these are Donna White Chloe's shoes. One is missing its heel. It's fine for display purposes, but that's a little weird. Pretty sure Donna White Chloe. Are they Donna White Megan actually? Donna White Megan had a green tint to her up, but these are probably Megan's. Um, I don't know what color tint, um, Chloe had, actually. Here is this shoe. Any that don't have pairs still have the possibility of having pairs because there's a bunch of bags. Ooh, Tokyo Agogo -Go shoe. I actually have no idea whose this is. Skin tone's telling me either Fiona or Yasmin, and it's not Yasmin, so it's probably Fiona. Um, there's only one of those in here, really. That's so annoying. One of these ones. I really like these ones that are, like, from later on, the taller ones. This has something disgusting on it, but is that a princess shoe? Where are the dolls? <laughs> that would be great. Um, this little dinosaur guy, sure. <laughs> this little boot, this really nice little boot again. 
Um, I think I see the pair for this in another bag, but it's also possible that not all of them have pairs. Well, it's more than likely that most of them don't have pairs. This shoe, I hope that the princess one at least has a pair, that'd be great. But having one shoe is better than having zero shoes, because what if you find the doll in the future and it only has one shoe, and you're like, look at me. I need more Sasha shoes, so I'm really excited about this one, but it looks like this is the only one. However, I do have some extra, um, like, solo Sasha shoes, so maybe it goes to one of those. Here is a black heel. This one. This one. <laughs> I have no idea about this. It has the peg in it, but I really don't think it's Bratz. Like, no way. Is it like Bratz Kids, maybe? I don't know. This is a Mycene shoe. Only one of that one, unfortunately. Yeah, all the Mycene shoes... Shoes? Shoe... All the Mycene shoes seem to only have one of each. And then there's this weird shoe that's like... It pegs into the leg. I have no idea about this one. This is a Mycene male shoe, probably tennis shoe it has a hair on it ew a Healy Happy Meal toy of some sort oh this is actually baller I love Healy's as you've seen love that sorry the lighting's not gonna show you I think that's just a normal Barbie shoe and there's two of them but one is pink and one is purple so it's possible they go together but it's also possible that those are two of like the same style of shoe and then there's this shoe which I didn't have earlier but I do already have this shoe and then a barefoot. So that's the first bag. Oh. And this shoe looks suspiciously like... No, never mind. It's not. I don't know whose this is. It's purpley. It's a... It looks like a Nevra, but I don't think the skin tone is right. All right. Next bag. S several bags. So we've got a lot to play with. Um. Oh! So they are... Why, as the employee, would you not sit down and either put them all in the same bag or put the pairs in the same bag? That's so weird. So here's a pair. Score! Uh, those are Mycene shoes. I think they go to the, um, Goes Hollywood Noli, but I'm not 100% sure. Could be completely wrong. This shoe, I already have that one, whoever it goes to. Um, but that's not a bad thing, because you can match it with more than one character. Here is another Mycene boot. I've got a lot of one-off Mycene shoes, so I hope we can complete our pairs. Here's a black ankle boot. Oh, another one of these weird peg ones. Um, this is a Mycene shoe, but it's totally chewed on, which is a shame. Um, these go to that, um, the Santa outfit dolls that are super cute. I, I really wish the dolls were there, man. They're so cute. Um, here's some flip-flops. I hate these. These are, like, my least favorite Bratz shoe mold out of all of them. There's another one with the chewed heel. What the heck? Huh. It's so weird. Uh, I have this shoe already, whoever it goes to. I'm not saying that as an invitation into my DMs to ask for them, by the way. Here's this one. Score. Whose is that? That is a very strange one. Um, another Mycene shoe. Another Mycene shoe. Uh, Fiona's Tokyo. I think it's Fiona, so I'm just saying that. Fiona's Tokyo. A go-go shoe pair. Score. It's another one of those with the swirly heel. I have one like this in gold. And then this really cool platform boot, which is a pair for this that we got earlier, so yay! I do have quite a few Black Bratz boots, but it's okay. Here's this one. Can never have enough of those. Here is another one with the swirly heel, but this one is silver. Do I have that one already? No, not yet. We'll see. And then this shoe, I think this is a Forever Diamond shoe, and I don't have, I think I only have one Forever Diamonds pair out of all three of the Forever Diamonds dolls I have, so score. Hopefully it goes to the skin tone I have, though. Here's the pairs for those two shoes. This boot. Oh, these are not the same. They're similar, though. Here's a probably a Sunkiss Summer shoe. This goes to, um, yeah, right here. Spring Break Noli. Score. Just one for now, though. Here's the gold little shoe. I think I might have already pulled that one out, but I'm not sure. I said pulled like a like a card game. And then here's this little boot. This shoe. It's a Mycene boy shoe, I think. More bare feet, which is always nice. And then this black ankle boot, which is a pair for one we just got. And these bags are $4 each, by the way, which... Thank you, Savers. Crazy. I, I just want to know where the dolls are. Here is a little Barbie TV. Just happened to be in there in the third bag. And then there's this... Is this like a little mermaid tail blanket for a doll? Like a Kelly doll? Um, put that aside. Here's a little tutu for a mini doll of some sort. Cool. And then this is 
It says Q steer, maybe? O steer? Absolutely no idea. It says it's made by Tomy though, so cool. Um, and then this tiny little pillow. And then to the shoes. We have more shoes. Mycene shoes. Got some more. It's a shame most of the Mycene shoes don't have the pair. Here's the pair for that one from earlier that I wasn't sure about. I uh, don't know where it went. No. Well, I saw this one earlier, I swear. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> Is it not, um... I, I, no. <laughs> Here's a boy shoe. I think this is a pair for one I saw earlier, but I do already have that shoe, so maybe I'm just confused. Here is these shoes. These are the ones that the Treasures dolls come with, I think, but I know they come with other dolls too. Um, maybe Mycene? Uh, these are Mycene. These go to the, um, one of the wildlife. Oh my god, wildlife, Brooke? Chilling out, these ones. It's one of their ski shoes. Here is this pair. And this now has its pair wherever it went. This is super cute. It looks like most of these ones don't have pairs, but maybe I need to go through and see. Uh, this is Bratz Kids, I'm pretty sure. This doesn't have a pair, but it's cute. Uh, a bandaged foot? Who does this go to? That's so funny. Um, this one. This one is, this is like one of the class ones, huh? And then this goes to a Jade. And this one. And then there's this big brush that goes to a Barbara. Yeah, so that's my thrift haul today. Most of the real estate of this haul is these brat shoes, but these are going to be indispensable for me. I'm sorry they're not as exciting to show off, but I'm really, really stoked about these because I'm going to be able to put a lot of shoes on a lot of dolls that are wearing weird shoes that don't match or not, don't have their shoes. A lot of these are probably going to help me complete them. And in the future, when I get more lots, I can combine more shoes and create complete dolls, which is always the goal. And that's really fun. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this thrift haul. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know if you've ever had a weird score like this. Like, the brat shoes are a score, but I'm sitting here, like, where are the dolls? And if, this, this shoe is extremely concerning to me, because I think it's Princess Chloe's. And I have her skirt and one of her shoes now. She's gonna come home piece by piece. Um, so yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching for all this time. Bye!